Hello everybody, welcome to Train Sim World 2 Clinchfield Railroad, where today we are continuing our journey north. So we're down in Dant and we're going to be heading to our well can get the map up here. Let's just have a look. We're heading north all the way to here. I wish they would start putting the uh, the names of the areas on these little maps here. Um, because there's one or two branch lines going off. I don't know what the names of them are. And I need to pull a map, find a map of this actual map here with the actual names on. If anybody knows where there is one, let me know in the comment section below. But we're heading northbound, just up to where that icon is. Um, it should be an easy run. We have got empties on. And it's not the steepest part, by the way, this isn't. It's not the steepest part. The uh, the branch lines going off, I believe a couple of them branch lines going off are the actual steepest part. So it shouldn't, it's not going to be very challenging today, especially as we've got empties on. So uh, let's push on. So let's just set the uh, let's just set the logo up. Put the bright light on. I always put the bright light on rather than the dim light. However, I do find when I press that button that the headlight does not generally come on. I have to press the allocated key on my keyboard, which I think I've got is H to actually um, put that headlight on. Now, of course, I may not be setting this train up in the correct order. Um, my train driving knowledge and skills are very minimal. But uh, we should be okay to go now. We are, of course, in the EMD F7. Um, I've not done much in the SD40 yet, to be honest. I've been sort of learning just the one loco here. Concentrating on this one. See, the headlight's not on, look, see. There it is, it's on now because I pressed the H key on my keyboard. Got a beautiful spring day on the Clitchfield Railroad today. I like how we can open the little window here. Look. As well as the big one, of course. It's pretty cool, that is. What I find bizarre, or maybe it's not. First off, the train is really dirty. I mean, that's that. Of course, is going to be normal. You're dealing in coal, so you're going to get a lot of coal dust. But the windshield is. It's very, very clean. So whether or not they haven't um, put a dirty windshield in the game at all, or perhaps the engineers and train drivers, that's the only part of the locomotive that they do actually keep clean. The windshields are very clean. Let's just go and have an actual look at uh, 
how many wagons were actually hauling here. They are all empty. Did I just call them wagons? They are in fact hoppers. The smaller ones I think carry 70 ton, the bigger ones are capable of carrying 100 tons. So we are probably hauling around 45 or 50 hoppers here. I think in real life on the main line they'll probably I think I hear Mr. Pedalston say a hundred and because of the gain performance wise we only haul um, for 40 to 50 I'm not I'm not too, I haven't counted them but there's, there's going to be somewhere between 40 to 50 including the caboose on the back here and uh, yeah I think you need you don't need a really good PC probably to haul a hundred of them there uh, offers. I think it affects the performance and the uh, simul graph, whatever they call it, they've got running in the game as well. So that's why we uh, let's go down into the river here. Should be a spot of fishing. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's why we only haul. It's going to be forty to fifty hoppers on there. I would suspect. Um, due to uh, any more will put a lot of demand on the services on the PC, Xbox, PlayStation, etc. To, uh, looks a little loading area if you're back onto that line you're not going to be able to load an awful lot of your hoppers there I don't know what that area is called like I mentioned at the beginning when you pull the map up I wish they'd have the, the named areas the names of all these little areas and the branch lines etc on it I don't know where I get an actual map from I don't know if Dovetail Games have got one with all the named areas anywhere on any of their websites, sites, or social media. I would like one so I know what all the little areas are. They should, like I say, they should do it on the map. When you put the map on, you should have all the names of all the different areas. I don't know why they don't do that. slightly down now so we're over speeding just slightly I'll just try and scrub some of that speed off of the automatic brake there we will use the dynamic brake I think it'll be better using the dynamic I can't say it it will be better using the dynamic brake well, that's what I tried to say we'll set that up in a minute because you have to set that up don't know how to do that, you will see how to do it sure.
So just at the top on the left hand side you can actually see how far we're going up where it says stop at location. I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I'll probably say it wrong but you can see it on the screen up there. Stop at location track 2. That's where we're going. I'm not going to attempt to say, say that just in case I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> played this, uh, the Clinchfield Railroad for quite a number of hours since it's been released. Um, I've not done everything on it, I've not really driven the SD40 yet, I've not been off all the branch lines I don't think that are on this map, I've not been everywhere on this map here, but uh, I think this is, uh, this is quite a good DLC, it does not deserve any thumbs down like you see on Steam, it's, uh, for me as a player, I think it's got quite a lot of playability factor, which means I want to come back and keep playing it. It's a very good line, it's, it's, it's a very good DLC for Train Sim World. Of course, only if you like freight, you don't go anywhere fast. It's, uh, it's very slow going and can be quite challenging in places. We've not played it yet in the bad weather in the snow. We'll see what that's like in future videos. I've not actually come across any real game breakers as such in this game. Um, Difficulties. The most difficult part of this uh, DLC is the understanding on how to work the locos, uh, particularly this uh, this F7, the brakes. There's uh, minimal instructions, and at the moment, I don't think there's a manual. I don't know if one will come out. Um, but I would like to see better tutorials, more in depth on the day-to-day -day running to the setup and operation of the brakes, etc. on these trains. For somebody who, such as me, has no idea how to operate a train such as this. You very often see the Steam comments and the discussions, it's broke, it doesn't work. Well, it does. Here we go, let's set this uh, dynamic braking up. So we put it into braking there, you have to wait for the amps to build up. And as soon as the amps are built up, which they have now, you can use the uh, the throttle lever for braking. It's as simple as that. Uh, whether or not we use this brake as I'm using it, uh, I don't know. But it's a very good brake for controlling and holding the speed once you uh, get the balance of it right. And uh, I shall be using this dynamic brake now. Probably for the remainder of this uh, route, off and on with the throttle. So you'll see me changing it back to the throttle and changing it back to uh, the dynamic brake. But once you get the right balance right here, and I am a bit of a novice on it, we should begin to control the speed a lot easier. So there you go, that's holding 30 miles an hour quite nicely. Although looking in the top right hand corner, my little owl icons are saying in 1.8 miles we're going to be dropping speed down to 25. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. To get the gold medal at the end of this, I suppose really, I don't know if this is classed. It's not, we're not really over speed, no, are we? We're spot on the speed limits. I 
I have to keep adjusting the uh, the brake, of course, here because uh, we're uh, the gradients keep changing. So let's just put it back in. No, we don't want it back in front. Back in braking. We're going down. I thought we were <laughs> I thought I was under under some impression we were actually going up then. I'm not concentrating. You need a lot of concentration to drive a train. Slow it down models. We messed up a little bit there. Don't want to derail. Get that speed down. Let's uh, scrub a bit of speed off with the auto brake here. I'll get rid of a lot of speed pretty quick. There we go. What I particularly like about this DLC is when you're driving the trains, you do need to have to put in an awful lot of driver input. Whereas some of the some of the DLCs, it's, it's just throttle on, throttle off, and it's it. And the NET is it stop, start, stop, start. This DLC is very much like CSX Heavy Hall, where you have to put a lot of input generally in on driving the locos. And I like that. It gives you more to do rather than just sitting there and looking through the window, being a passenger as such, looking at the view. A lot of driver input has to go in on driving these locos on this line. And a lot of concentration, as you can see just previously back there, I wasn't concentrating at all. I lost concentration. We're over speeding again. Like I say, a lot of driver input, you've got to really learn how to balance the brakes here to uh, keep the speed down. The more I play it, the better I'll get, the better, should I say, I will get. use the auto brake there just scrub a bit of that speed off whether or not I'm doing this correctly I've absolutely no idea I'm using a combination now of the dynamic brake and the auto brake I'm using occasionally see now just how I'm holding the speed with the dynamic brake there and it's holding it nice and steady at 24 miles an hour as we go down here if you can find that right balance on the braking you can just hold the you can just find that sweet spot and just maintain the correct uh, speed limits quite easily
again if you if you're watching concentrating uh, you can see just how well that dynamic brake is just holding the speed obviously the the grades keep changing as well it's uh, a different we're at one percent now on the uh, on the grades so now we've gone down to 0.8 percent so as the grades change, it's, it's still holding the speed limit, the dynamic brake, it's holding it very well. Like I say, I don't know if this is the correct procedure. I don't know if we're going to break the train. <laughs> we will see. I've not broke it yet, anyway. I don't know the correct braking procedures on this uh, on this F7, so don't take anything I do um, as gospel. I'm a pretty terrible train driver although I haven't derailed yet the tunnel. I presume all these tunnels have names. Maybe. I've no idea. Would love to have a map of the area with all the uh, with all the names of all the different uh, loading areas and things. There's got to be one somewhere. I would like one in game but there doesn't seem to be one. get the map, but no names. So we're coming up to a speed restriction, um, I've actually slowed down too quickly so we'll just release this dynamic brake and put it back into throttle. Otherwise it's going to take us all day at <laughs> 9 miles an hour. Let's throttle it back up. Listen to the power.
so we've got to be careful because there appears to be a 15 mile an hour um, speed restriction around here. I don't know why. I can't remember what is actually along this line. But we will shortly see. Maybe it's a holding point. Maybe another train holding here on the other line. I don't know. Regardless, we've got a 15 mile an hour speed limit. Maybe it's quite a short left hand turn here. There's a load of hoppers. They look, uh, they are full actually. They're full of coal. It looks like there's a slight tilt on the line there, actually. So, yes, you can see why that's a speed restriction of 15 miles an hour coming around here. On a train such as this. I wonder if you can come along there really quick and derail and go in that river. <laughs> I'd try that. That would be a funny video. Actually, at the 15 mile an hour speed limit, though, yet are we? Now we're at the 15 mile an hour speed limit. So maybe there is a uh, maybe there is a train holding round here. So that bend, but I wasn't looking correctly and was saying it's a 15 mile an hour speed limit because of the bend it actually wasn't you got it wrong wobbles this section is 15 miles an hour for some reason would have thought that that bend we'd just gone around there would have been the speed limit on there but uh, there wasn't well there was I think it was 30 miles an hour wasn't it I can't remember without going back and looking at the video While we're just cruising along here, let's address some of the sounds on this loco because I've seen quite a few comments saying, oh, they've upcycled the sounds from other locos. Well, on their defence, I have heard Mr. Pedalston saying regarding the sounds on this DLC, on these locos, they have upcycled the very best sounds that they have previously used before from what I can gather and the reasons for that is the COVID-19 restrictions I believe have possibly made it difficult to go out and do sound recordings on these locos 
I'm not an expert on these trains, so I think the sound, for me, the sounds, the sounds are okay to me. Just an average gamer who likes to play the games, you know. But, uh, they've been criticised for it, but uh, obviously it's 2021. And we've had the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. made life difficult. But for me personally, I have no problems. I'm not that fussy, I suppose. <laughs> I have no problems with the sounds in this uh, in this DLC. It's been one of the most enjoyable DLCs that I've uh, that I've played. And uh, it's very, very quickly become one of my favourites. So we've had a really slow speed restriction coming along there for 15 miles an hour. Now, top right hand corner, we've got the help icons on. It says we are shortly approaching. Um, a 30 mile an hour speed restriction so this 15 mile an hour speed restriction will be lifted and we can uh, put a little bit of power on there's a red light there that's the, the side line I think that we're just going past to hold I think ours is the, the one on the floor the little green one on the floor there I think if I'd have had them I don't know the signal systems on this I don't know what the signals quite mean on this line. There's no alert system either on this line. Um, if I didn't have them ALP icons on, I think I would have panicked there and hit the brakes. Right, as soon as the... Uh, we've actually got to wait for all the hoppers at the back to pass that 15 mile an hour <laughs> speed zone before we can actually accelerate to 30. Once they're cleared, we can, uh, we can take this dynamic brake off, and change it back to throttle, and uh, give it some power. Another tunnel. Again, I don't know the name of this tunnel. I presume they have got names. Yeah, they're called tunnels, wobbly. <laughs> Right hand side, another small loading area. You can't load many hoppers there. You could only pull, I don't know, how many would you fill? Perhaps three there. It's a small loading area. Again, I don't know what that area is called, what we, what we just passed. Very difficult to know the names of these places. Let's just put this dynamic brake back into uh, throttle position. Series power off, power well. I can't say power well. <laughs> oh dear. And apply a little bit of throttle. Get it up to speed, bottles. We'll be here all day, man. The amps have dropped. Did you notice the amps drop there? They they dropped. The digital display actually dropped to zero and then came back up. Although it sounded as though they were still on. That must be some sort of uh, slight bug on the 
throttle, which you come across occasionally, and now I'm over speeding, so we've got to throttle off, and uh, let's put this in back into dynamic braking, and we'll begin to uh, rush it, you've got to wait for the amps build up wobbles, there you go, wait for the amps to build up before you use the dynamic braking for what? Scrub some of this speed off. Right, might be best to have used the, uh, the auto brake there. So, got it under control there, look like a pro. <laughs>
the tunnel. We've got approximately, uh, well, we've got five miles, have we? 4.9 miles. We've got approximately five miles to go. Um, quite a long line. This, this is going to be possibly a one hour video. The rendering on YouTube is going to be absolutely horrendous. It's going to be a long time. You would not believe how long it actually takes a one hour video to be processed on YouTube. So uh, I hope you appreciate the video and smack the like button if you do. Thank you very much. Another tunnel. Once the videos have actually been processed on YouTube, I generally release them once they get to 1080p. It does take them a lot longer to process up to 1440p. That's nothing to do with me, that's the whole YouTube process. So, um, if you prefer to watch the videos in 1440p and it's currently showing 1080p, then you may have to come back a day later um, to see the 1440p videos. Sometimes it takes YouTube quite a long time to process them up to 1440p and this being a one hour video, I, uh, I don't know how long it will take, it could take, it could take three days, it wouldn't surprise me. But uh, yeah, all the videos I put up are in 1440p. Uh, I released them at 1080p and you have to wait a little bit longer for the YouTube process to process the video up to 1440p. And we're going northbound, and as you can see, it's quite a long line. I think south to north is possibly 37 miles. I'm not 100% sure, and we're not going all the way north at the moment. We're, we're stopping. We are stopping. And there will be a part three to this video. I'm sure the net, there's another scenario, uh, time, no, not scenario, timetable mode we're on, doing here, um, of a part three, four, five, six, and possibly seven. So, uh, if you want to see all them, smack that like button, let me know. I'll probably put them up regardless. Another tunnel. Yay, another tunnel wobbles. tunnel quite a series of tunnels along here of course look well, at this area will have a name and i've absolutely no idea what these tu tunnels are called i presume they've got names yeah they're called tunnel swabbles <laughs> it's just a tunnel It's a tunnel that is bubbles. It's just a tunnel.
another loading area. Again, I don't know what that area is called. I would like to know. But the uh, the in-game map is uh, pretty useless to somebody who doesn't know the area. Yeah, it's got the line on, it's got the branch lines on, but how do you know the names of the certain areas? I'd like to see these in-game incorporated into into the map. When you're not from this area, you don't know. been tunnel counting. How many tunnels have we gone through? Well, we're nearly there 2.3 miles to go I have done this before I got uh, what did I get I think I got bronze I didn't get the gold because I did too much over speeding and uh, I'm pretty sure I got the bronze and you have to be careful where it requests you to stop and you will see the reason why shortly are coming down to another 15 mile an hour speed limit shortly as well and another tunnel change the dynamic brake over to throttle I slowed down too quickly an amateur mistake wobbles that's an amateur mistake mainly in our drive change wobbles <laughs> we're approaching a 15 mile an hour speed restriction approaching a yellow and because I've done this before after the yellow I believe there is a red light and it requests you to stop right by the red light so you've got to be good on your braking because the first time I did it I stopped short of that icon that's on the track where it tells you to stop I was a couple of yards short and trying to start because I believe 
movements on a sly and slow was quite difficult. I got a lot of wheel spin. You had to, I had to balance the brakes. I used, a, at the end, what I do is I use a little bit of the independent brake and balance it with the throttle to hold the, I use the independent brake to hold it on the hill, a little bit of throttle, uh, and then slowly release the independent brake so you, you don't roll backwards. Um, I'll try to get it spot on this time. We'll, we will approach this stopping point with a lot more caution than I previously did. If you run and gun it round here, you're just going to fail the scenario. Well, I've a train holding here, Luke. So we will see. I believe this has got box corps on, if I remember rightly. F7 holding there, and we'll get an idea just how long these trains are when we when we go past this train here. So if you look out to the uh, the window, the passenger window there, or the other edge deer's window on the left hand side, or any window, it doesn't matter really, does it? We'll see how long this train, how many box courts are on that logo there. There's quite a few of them. go the quite long trains never seen one in real life in fact dovetail games um, on their forum put um, quite an interesting um, article up regarding the history of um, this clinchfield railroad um, line uh, with some really good um, photographs of the line and the locos that run on it. It's uh, a very good article. Very well put together with some really good um, photos. It's worth checking out. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will put it in the uh, uh, video description uh, box. I'll put the link to it because um, there's some cracking photographs. Um, along with the article to look at. Right, I'm going to be very, very cautious here because we've got just over 700 yards before we have to stop. If you mess up on this, you will fail the timetable um, mode here and you will either have to start again right from the very beginning or reload I think it allows you to reload your last checkpoint so maybe I'm being a little bit over cautious because uh, I'm not an expert as such on this loco and it's stopping capabilities
just got just over 200 yards before we hit this red light and that's where we've got to stop. Just around this corner. Of course, that is a part three, I believe, to this timetable series. And I'll possibly will do that one in the next video of uh, Lynchfield uh, Railroad. So, this is where you've got to be careful because you can quite easily uh, mess up here. So I'm just going to use the dynamic brake to try and uh, control the speed here rather than the uh, auto brake which scrubs the speed down quite quickly. So I'll use the dynamic brake So I think it may be a better option for and the speed. I don't know, I'm no expert. But once I get there, there we go, we need to start thinking about stopping the train now, otherwise we're going to run through the red. There we go, objective complete. And what did I actually get? I got, uh, that's a silver isn't it, so I've done slightly better. Slightly disappointed I didn't get a gold, I've not got a gold yet on this. Uh, reason being, if you look at the uh, performance graph there, we have actually over speeded um, quite a few times so you've got to be really strict and spot on um, here along the performance graph here you can see um, where I've gone over the speed limit so you've got to be very careful not to do that and if you can maintain that speed limit or if I could have maintained that speed limit I suspected I would have got gold but uh, no I failed I got silver so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look out for I believe there's a part three to this on the timetable service so I'll uh, I will have a go at that one and stay safe and I'll see you all again real soon